It's Thursday, June 16th, 2011. This is Dabu7. Let's get right to the point here, folks. Uh, this video is on the Fort Calhoun nuclear power plant that uh, is being blacked out by the media. There's also a secondary nuclear plant, Cooper plant, that uh, is continuing to operate even though they know floodwaters are heading their way. And what we're looking at here is the Missouri River. And uh, you can see where it's supposed to normally flow. It is just massively inundated with water. Um, very few news agencies have been broadcasting on this. If you're not anywhere around the area of Nebraska, um, you're not going to hear a word of this. Uh, people like Alex Jones <laughs> are... Uh, not paying any attention to this and just blowing it off. Um, this is a picture of the levee that broke on Monday. Two of them broke. Uh, water's rising quickly, shutting down state routes, highways, roads, inundating homes. Lots and lots of land lost. <clears throat> this is newsworthy. And, uh, not a word being said of it, folks. And the snow has only begun to melt. And they're expecting this to rise another five feet. Looks like an ocean. Now, like I said, I'm putting this video out there for my subscribers, for people to come to my channel. I'm playing my part in getting this out there. This is huge. It's not one of the biggest videos I've ever done, information-wise, on what's affecting our country. Um... They're already blacking out the whole Fukushima radiation thing. Um, I'm taking it. If you're watching this video, you're thirsty for knowledge, and I'm here to give it to you uh, to the best of my ability. Um, this is the USS Hazard. Uh, this is normally all on dry land, but it's found itself back on water. Just absolutely flooded here. Biblical proportions. lower level of the casino, the parking lot, outside Hamburg, <clears throat> broken roads, <laughs> roads been swallowed up, and they put this levee up, secondary levee, thinking it's going to hold, yeah right, I'm about to show you, let's look at this. looks like an ocean. Now this here is Fort Calhoun nuclear power plant. Now this went down in April for refueling and um, that's what it looked like then. This is what it looks like now. Inundated with water. For those of you that don't know this nuclear power plant is under water. They had a small fire in the basement here in the past few days in the past week and uh, it knocked out the cooling systems for uh, the spent fuel rod pool. And uh, it, it doesn't take long for that water to start boiling. Now, the reports that, uh, as you can see, it's flooded completely. They sandbag this place. Are you kidding me? Sandbagging a nuclear power plant. And this is not on the news. I'm telling you completely surrounded by water. Now they're letting water, one report said, flow into this facility to cool down the spent fuel rods. Where's that water going back into? Huh? Right back into the Missouri. I'm telling you folks, get hip. If you're just now hearing anything about this, get hip. This is bad news. Germany, Italy, they all voted overwhelmingly to shut down all the power plants in their countries. Now, as we touch on this, downstream from this is Cooper nuclear power plant. 
and they know the water is continuing to rise. Now you would think, common sense, shut the plant down, you've got time. They're not. Okay, this all smells like a setup to me. Right, right there, folks. Completely flooded. And there's a fuel pool that's holding over 20 fuel rods at this facility. Now, I just showed you a picture of the secondary dam that they had put up, the secondary now levee. It's now on the brink this morning of what could be a massive disaster. As floodwaters from the rising Missouri River are about to pour into a town in Iowa, swamping it under as much as 10 feet of water. The town's only hope, a quickly built makeshift levee. Our Barbara Pinto is there, and she has the latest. Good morning, Barbara. Good morning, Josh. It is eerie to watch this wall of water move in as this town scrambles to protect itself. You can see the Missouri River already up on this new levee and the heavy equipment shoring up this 14-foot wall of Iowa farm dirt. It is this town's last and only hope. The floodwaters are expected to move in even higher today. A thousand people live in this town. Hundreds have left already all of them praying that this wall of dirt will be enough to save their town. The water could be high here for weeks. Okay, that levy I showed you earlier is already up to the brim with water. They're expecting it to raise another five feet. I'm saying double it. The snowpack has just begun to melt. Storms still pouring in, folks. We're going to go full screen here. This is from a news agency um, in Nebraska and they have put out a no-fly zone a no-fly zone above this nuclear plant one reason is to keep the news out No, the levees around it is not holding. Okay, as you can see, this just looks like an ocean here. Now I'm just running through clips here, trying to get as much as I can in here in a 15-minute clip. Midwest floods heighten nuclear crisis for Calhoun. is the designated spent fuel storage facility for the entire state of Nebraska, and maybe for more than one state. Calhoun stores its spent fuel rods in a ground-level pool, which are underwater anyway, but they are open at the top. And when the Missouri River pours in there, it's going to make Fukushima look like an x-ray. But that's not all. There's a lot of nuclear plants in both the Missouri and Mississippi. As these levees just continue to fall like dominoes. I'm telling you, get hip. It's going down. U.S. plants hold about over four, four times over capacity in the spent uh, fuel pools, plus all the new and recently removed fuel from Calhoun. Now, this is not good. It is flooded, being flooded. I'm going to go and show you one more clip here from uh, Arnie Gunnarsson and uh, another news broadcast and what they have to say. Well, today OPPD declares a notification of unusual events at the Fort Calhoun Nuclear Power Station. OPPD did not want KMTV Action 3 News to shoot this video. But because the Missouri River is a public waterway, we feel it's our job and our right to show the public what's happening at the Fort Calhoun Nuclear Power Station. Water in many places already up to the buildings, with the flood expected to rise another five feet or more this summer. 
Now they're saying another five feet. Folks, I'm saying double it. It's about to get bad. And they're not going to tell you anything. You need to make this go viral. Because anything that happens at these nuclear plants and goes unspoken about is going right down to Missouri, right down into the Mississippi, right into the Gulf. And everything is heading east. Here's Arnie Gunderson. What is going on and what has happened and been minimized in the reportage generally about the situation at Fort Calhoun. Well, well thank you for having me. And uh, uh, your, your summary was, was really excellent. The, uh, the, you know, the sandbags and nuclear power plants really don't belong in the same sentence. And, and now we're seeing one that is, uh, is literally putting sandbags up uh, to reinforce itself against uh, against the flood, um, I think the, um, the real issue here is why are we having a flood? Um, there's a lot of snow in the Rockies this year, more so than than uh, a long time, and all of the dams upstream are full. So all of them are just opening up their water and letting it cascade down to the next dam, which is letting it cascade down to the next dam. Well, the the plant was designed against a, a flood that it can't get much worse than this or else it's going to breach the walls. But my concern is um, what if the dam breaks? We've, that would be the equivalent of the Fukushima tsunami. Uh, these dams are, are filled to the brim, and there's more than one. So, you know, it, it doesn't mean that the, the one that's immediately upstream has to, has to break. It's, it's any one of the series has to break. Um, which could which could inundate this like Fukushima was with a, uh, you know with essentially a, a, an inland tsunami. Um, the, the dams are not uh, you know, structurally sound like uh, um, you know, built to the, the same standards as a nuclear plant, uh, but uh, but in fact the nuclear plant is now relying on the integrity of something that's basically a big earth and berm. If one of these are almost like an electrical uh, circuit in series, resistors in series, if these dams, which we might liken to resistors, any one of them broke, that would put extra stress on all the ones downstream of it, would it not? That's correct. That's correct. So, you know, you know it will probably ride out the storm if, uh, um, if, if the storm doesn't get any worse. Uh, they're, they're within a foot or two of, of what they were designed for, and Hopefully, um, the, the, it looks like that the flows that are coming out of the dams, um, as the as the Corps of Engineers has opened the valves, they uh, they they can just barely get by. Um, but if okay, you just heard him say they're within a foot or two, and you also heard them say they expect it to rise another five feet. Do the math here, folks. Places like YouTube, Godlike Productions, Realist News, other outlets, these are the only places that you're going to find real information on this. Guys like Alex Jones are ignoring this, blowing it off. Um, I'm warning you. What's happening with the Missouri and the Mississippi River is critical so I'm shooting this video to put out there for you guys spread the word okay spread it embed it pass it along Facebook it email it get this knowledge out there because it's only gonna get worse um, it's raining in these areas right now um, if one dam breaks one dam upstream it's game over and the second nuclear plant, Cooper, is up and running. And they know of this, and they're surrounded by water as well, and they're not shutting down. So heads up, folks. Knowledge is power. Much love. When I get updates, I'll post again. Till next time. This is Dabu7 for Thursday, June 16th, 2011. Much love.